What's up? I'm Austin Griffith, and this is my third MetaTXIO screencast. We're going to be kind of bringing everything together from the previous two. So just to cover those real quick, the first was like a bouncer proxy. It's uh, an identity that's a contract on chain that you submit meta transactions to, and then it unpacks those, recovers them, and then executes the transaction on chain. It's a way for you to have a device that doesn't have any ether on it, signing meta transactions and having them uh, executed on chain. Uh, the next one was a token subscription system. So it uh, kind of pulled out the nonce that you would normally have to prevent replay protection in a, or to prevent replay in a meta transaction. You have a nonce that says you can only play this once. Well, we, we want that to actually happen again, right? So with a subscription, we want you to package up one single meta transaction, and then we want to resubmit it on some kind of period. So then we use this timestamp nonce trick. And in combination, we also use the ERC-20 standard for uh, approve allow. And that kind of got us started on a proof of concept for EIP-1337 lead and EIP-948. So today we're going to bring all those together for delegated execution subscriptions. And that's a lot to unpack, so let's just go check it out. So if you go to BYOC, <clears throat> bring your own contract is what we've been calling it, you can deploy uh, your own contract. But let's talk about what delegated execution subscriptions mean. means. So it's like you want an identity and you want to be able to transact through that identity using your devices that don't have any ETH but you don't wanna just do one transaction. You wanna be able to do that on a recurring basis without really having to mess with it. Basically, you incentivize a, a meta transaction layer to submit the stuff for you. So uh, the first thing we do once we have an identity is charge that identity up with some fake testnet ETH. So let's send it 0.5 ETH. Cool, confirm. Okay, so once the block gets mined, we should notice that this guy gets charged up. Now let's talk about those uh, cold versus hot wallets. Hot wallet sounds like the worst weird euphemism. Anyways, here's, your, here's what you would consider your cold wallet here. And then this is what you would consider your hot wallet. In your cold wallet, there our uh, identity just got charged up. We could be sending tokens too, but we're just gonna work with ETH for now because we already did token subscriptions. So your cold wallet is, it's, it's got all your ETH in it you uh, don't really want to be moving that private key around. You don't really want to be even unlocking this very much. So we're going to just get this contract deployed. We're going to get it filled up with some ETH and then we're going to shut off this cold account. But what we need is some hot accounts that we could uh, use to uh, make transactions and stuff. So I can see this little blocky there and it, uh, is it there that you can kind of see them. Let me just click into uh, this contract and I can do the same thing over here so I'm going to click that one and I'll do the same thing on my phone okay so I'm in there and then if we scroll down we should see sign contract I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to hit let's scroll down so we can see it show up so it's just a signature display right like do you trust this contract we do approve fingerprint and boom okay so that's just a way to kind of get the address in easy the signature is it's not a really a big deal because we're not really doing any verification at this point we're just trying to get that id across okay so now we have these two ids that we want to these are our our hot wallets we want to give them access and we do that through a whitelist system so since this is my identity i'm the owner but I can whitelist other accounts to interact through that. And I'm going to do this one and this one. You can kind of see like as I click these that this little identicon changes. And then this is like my control of whether or not I want it to have access so I can revoke access. So say I lose my phone or it's just old, I can go ahead and revoke access. OK, so we should see transactions going through. If you've used my Dapparatus system, these shorter ones are blocks and the longer ones are transactions and we can even see events here so we can see that that guy is true and then the other one is true so now uh both my phone and this guy have full access to create pause cancel subscriptions uh through this contract and so i can just like bookmark this on my phone and head out so uh then we can kind of like close down our cold wallet we shouldn't have to mess with it very much we can kind of just interact with this 
uh, using our hot wallet. So let's look at the most basic subscription I can think of, and that would be just sending some ETH. So um, who should we send it to? Well, this is gonna be weird, but we're just gonna send it back to our cold wallet. Not exactly the, there's yellow guy, so he's actually the owner, but it doesn't matter. So we're gonna say once a minute, we're gonna execute a call that goes to this address, and then we're gonna give it a value of zero, zero, er, zero, one, there we go. And uh, you can hit that to get you into way, and we are ready to go. So let's hit subscribe. Now this is gonna be an off-chain transaction, right? It's just gonna package up all that information that we have, then I'm gonna sign it. That's gonna go back to the relayer network, and uh, now it should be active. We should start to see Slowly, we should start to see ETH drain out of this account and go into this account. But that's really not that interesting. And also, like, who, who's paying for these transactions, right? Well, there's this miner down in the bottom right, and he's incentivized. But let's actually incentivize him, and that would be with some ETH. So we're going to say the gas token is zero. And let's use 005. And do that and then the gas payer I leave empty and that signifies that it's going to be a contract that's going to pay for it but you can use some tricks if you're using tokens you can set the payer to uh, the contract you can set the payer to the owner or you can set the payer to some third party that then can approve these which is kind of a really neat concept if you wanted to like give a bunch of proxies the ability to use your tokens like if you were a single entity and there were a bunch of these but anyways it, it works just like an ERC-20, it's going to move those and pay for those. It, it's all up to the crypto economics of the system, whether or not those uh, desktop miners want to submit your meta transaction or not. They can get it from uh, whatever the network is that you uh, submit it to, and then they can kind of unpack it and decide if that's uh, a worthwhile transaction to make. So let's even just go ahead and pause uh, the current subscription. So notice I'm doing this with my cold or my hot account, right? Basically, this guy doesn't have he he does have ETH, but uh, he's not spending any ETH here. So I'm going to sign that, right? So so I'm out at the bar and I realize that my subscription to Netflix is still active and I want to shut it off. I just hit pause and I hit save. That's going to submit that meta transaction and that's going to shut it down. So let's get a new transaction going that's actually going to incentivize the workers or the desktop miners to submit it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's going to, so now we've got one paused, we've got one active, and you can kind of see the details. There's a lot of room for improvement in this disgusting UI. And, and there's a lot of neat analytics that you could get from this, right? You can see how your subscriptions, like how much they've spent, how much uh, total, what it, what it's moving, who's paying for it, stuff like that. So now uh, if I hit reload, we can see that we've got one paused, we've got one active. We can see uh, the executions happening here and we should see uh, this slowly drain. Nope, this, th yeah, 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 that's right. So we should slowly spend ETH and this should slowly fill up. And uh, this guy down here, the, the miner, it, what is he at, 0. 0.8967? He should actually also gain ETH, right? So he's incentivized to submit these, and your transaction is going through, and it's all with an account that doesn't have any ETH or isn't spending any ETH. It's just with any device that you've uh, kind of signed it and whitelisted, right? Okay, so what else can we do? That this. This delegated execution stuff is really powerful. There's, there's more stuff here. So let's say uh, once uh, a day, we want to execute a little uh, something a little more advanced. So I've also deployed an example contract. Where is it? Oh yeah, so all this stuff is obviously open source, uh, verified on Rinkeby. You could go check it out. Um, I think we just saw a transaction go through there. Yep and 987, so I don't remember what it was, but I'm assuming that that miner is actually making money off these transactions. So ETH is flowing from our contract to some account, which happens to be the owner, and the miners are getting incentivized for it. So now let's jump to, where is the example contract? Let's see here, code, that is not it. What if I just search example on, oh man, there's gonna be a ton of them, okay. I can do this another way. Uh, let's see. Let's just cat the, getting into the, the command line here. 
Example dot address. There we go. Okay, let's grab that dude. Let's throw him into Rinkaby just so I can see it. Cool. There's the code. So the example contract is really simple. It's just the same as the example contract I used for the bouncer proxy. It's like this counter that you can add one to. Perfect example of a state machine. But I also uh, added this announce function in there. And there's also an announce event in the uh, subscription contract. And so we're going to use delegate call to mess with that. But let's just do let's just do a normal call to a normal contract to show that we can do that. So let's create uh, a new subscription that happens. Actually, let's go once every two minutes, right? All right, we'll do a call and then we'll paste in. Do I still have that there? Okay, we'll paste in the address of the example contract. So whoever you want to go interact with. And this is really cool. It, jumps on the etherscan api and it pulls down the abi so now you can say okay what functions do we have here we've got uh add amount and i i called it i meant to type announce but it's accounts anyways we want to do add amount and now it pulls up this and we're, we're going to add uh every two minutes we'll add five to the count okay uh, oh, should we go ahead and pay a little yeah let's incentivize the miners so we'll say we're willing to pay zero zero so five might have been it's what he's making point zero 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 two on each one of these so if i did zero five let's do zero four he'll still make zero 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 one given the gas stays the same and all that stuff and amount is five zero oh we need to boop do that okay so gas token could be a token zero means eth I think we're ready to go. Once every two minutes, we're gonna call this function on this contract. I think I have everything right, we'll see. Awesome, okay, so now we want to go watch that example contract. So here it is, but we should be able to go to read contract. Okay, read is zero. So we'll just keep an eye on that count. Okay, let's do uh, some other demos here just to get, uh, get it all out of the way. So how about delegate call? So same contract, we're gonna do a delegate call uh, every five minutes. And what we're gonna do is do accounts, which is supposed to be announce, which means it, since it's delegate call, it's not going to operate, it's gonna operate on the storage of the proxy contract, not the example contract. So it's, yeah. You, you get the idea. And let's just put in a message here, hello world, and convert that to hex. Okay, so now every five minutes, we're going to delegate call to the example contract, this announce function that should create an event. And we're gonna assume that all the economics in play here are good. We're gonna pay that dude to submit it. And hopefully this works. All right. Cool, so now that's another contract. So we have three active contracts right now. And uh, what we're gonna watch for is this announce to fire off. And that should fire off every five minutes. And the reason why we're gonna see it here is this guy's listening to the events on the proxy contract, not on the example contract. And that's where it's gonna get called. So that's, that's kind of neat, right? It operates within the the current contract using the code from the example contract which is really cool for there it goes there's the first one was announced it, it went through and it and it worked okay so uh that's really cool for like uh upgrading like proxy check out delegate call proxy patterns it really neat stuff a little bit over my head okay so now uh the last thing we can do which i don't even really know why you would want to do this but we're going to every 20 minutes we're going to create a contract and so there's no to address here and what i'm going to do is just take the byte code from that example contract oh it's being weird okay let's just go get the byte code right can we get it from oh yeah is our account going up hooray it's 10 what a good demo <laughs> Uh, code, I bet I can get the bytecode right here. There we go. So let's grab the bytecode from the example contract and uh, let's remove this and say 0x all of this. So now uh, we're going to have to really incentivize this dude. Let's pay him like not, uh, let's pay him like 0 0.01. So that, yeah. okay. So we're going to pay this dude. Oh, whoa. Oh no. Good thing I caught that. That would have gotten real weird. 
Whoa, speaking of weird. Does this look good? Yeah, okay, so I think that's good. So that is basically all of the bytecode of the example contract. Pasted in as the, the data bytes of this transaction and we're using the uh, create operation. And I borrowed the call, delegate, call, and create from the Gnosis safe contracts. Those are, speaking of over my head, those are amazing, oh, just gorgeous contracts, check them out. But I borrowed their executor. I think they're, they're kind of leading the way on all this stuff, so I'll just kind of use their stuff as much as I can. So we are going to deploy a contract every 20 minutes for some reason. I, I'm sure someone out there can figure out why you would want to do this, but here we go. And we're going to do it with meta transactions. So I'm doing this from, from the bar, from an account that doesn't have any ETH in it that I just signed on the way out the door. Okay, so how do we know that works? Okay, we'll, we'll watch for the contract creation uh, event, which is another uh, thing. So we're just gonna wait for that to get deployed. Let's watch one and see what happens to the, look, it already worked. And the miner's gas stayed like exactly the same. Is that right? Point, to, keep an eye on that miner gas. Point, oh, it's gonna be 20 minutes from now. I don't wanna wait again. Let's, let's just do every minute. Like, this is gonna get real weird. Uh, so every minute we are going to create a contract with that byte code and we're going to pay quite a bit for it. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. And let's let's go check this contract. I'm assuming I can just grab this and go into Rinkaby. Come on. Yeah, it worked. Look at that. There is a the contract there. It was deployed. The contract creator. Who is the contract creator for? It's not that dude. It's this dude. Okay, so the, the proxy contract is the owner of or the creator of that contract. How cool is that? That's freaking sweet. I didn't even know that was going to happen. Okay, so uh, wait, 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 where is that? Let's paste it in again. So here is the contract we just deployed through, and this, this same contract is going to get deployed once a minute now uh, from by the miners, but it's going to come from our account. That is really sweet. I didn't think that would come from my account, but it, there's the account. There's the. It's just like looks just like the example contract. How much did it cost to deploy? Point zero 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 eight. Oh man, so we're paying him point zero one to deploy it, and he's only paying point zero 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 eight. So the desktop miner is making a pretty penny on this. All right, so that is basically delegated execution. Um, check out EIP one three three seven. Check out EIP nine four eight. Um, Check out uh, all my GitHub stuff. Hit me up on the tweets. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, Meta transactions lead.